everybody, it's me, it's me, Chocolate Controller, and welcome to Pokemon Crystal Version! Uh, yeah. This is my new Let's Play for the time being. Uh, while I'm waiting for the videos for Ocarina of Time so that I can upload those, we're gonna start my next Let's Play, Crystal. Pokemon Crystal. Uh, and yeah, so hopefully you guys are as excited as I am to finally get some content out, whether that be what I should be posting or, or whatever. But anyway, let's get started. Pokemon Crystal Version. Alright, so getting started here, I want to go to options, and I want tech speed fast, and everything else should be fine, and we're going to click new game. This is the first Pokemon game where you can select whether you are a boy or a girl. Um, most people think it's the Gen 3 games, but no, it's actually Crystal. The original Gold and Silver did not, but here in Crystal, you can pick whether you're a boy or girl. I am a boy, though, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Look me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Well, it is 9, 6 o'clock. How many minutes? How many minutes? 41. I actually don't know how how many seconds it's been, so I'm just going to put 41. Whoa, 41 minutes. Yeah. Night 41. No wonder it's so dark. <laughs> anyway. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. Not the Pokemon Professor, the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures we, that we call Pokemon, aka Wooper. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are m still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? All right, so the default names are Chris, Mass, Mass, <laughs> Matt, Alan, or John, Mass. But new name. Um, so for Pokemon Red, I did use my uh, my YouTube name Chaco. However, because because I want to, I am going to start for Pokemon Let's Plays. I'm going to start using the canon names of trainers. Uh, now, now, sometimes that'll be uh, the canon name means the canon name that they use in the game. Other times it'll mean the canon name they use in the manga or whatever. This time... I'm gonna go with the with the manga default name, which which is gold. Because here's the thing, the rival name doesn't really have a canon name other than I'll just I'll get to it when I get to it. Gold, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun at times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. Alright, so here we are. In New Bark Town, I believe is the name of this town. Uh, let's go get the potion. 
Yeah, this game rips you off with the PC not giving you a potion. Uh, it's the town map. We are in New Bark. I knew it. I'm so good at this game. And, huh. Anyway, if we go down. Oh, gold. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was work looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Gold received the Poke Gear. Pokemon Gear, or just Poke Gear, it, it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? Today is not. Is Saturday. Saturday, is it? Is it daylight saving times? At the current moment, yeah. 6.44 p.m. daylight savings times. Is that okay? Yup. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight saving time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? So, if I select yes or no, she's gonna say basically the same thing. Don't you just turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon? Phone numbers are stored in... Uh, I... Instantly? I don't know. Just choose a name who you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Yeah, she, she explains how to use it no matter whether you say yes or no. Hold on. Yo, gold! I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Okay. Wow, your Poke Gear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? Maybe. You don't need to know that. Oh my gosh, I am really bad at walking. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Prof Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. <sighs> I wish I could be a researcher like him. So, what? So, right there, you might be wondering. King, some of you might be wondering. Pikachu, Pikachu isn't isn't an evolved Pokemon. Well, well, in this game, uh, and f so on. I mean, most of, most of you probably already know this, but some of you might not because you're Gen 1ers or something. I don't know. But, um, Pikachu in Generation 2 had gotten a pre-evolution called Pichu. Now you. Hi, Gold. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he's even t he even forgets to eat. Okay. When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. You go, kid. All right. And you. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? No need to anime kick me, jeez. All right, we've delayed long enough. Gold, there you are. Oh, my cat's messing with stuff on the ground. All right, anyway, gold, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Gold. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference, but there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Eh. But please, I need your help. Eh. He just says the same thing over and over. I guess. Th thanks, Gold. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll develop, delve a bit deeper, <laughs> develop in a bit deeper. Wow, into many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Oh hey, I got an email. Who uses email anymore? I mean, I guess this was 2000. So I guess I have no room to talk, but you know. Hmm, uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen! <laughs> I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Wow, that is a name. 
He keeps finding weird things and ra raving <laughs> about his discoveries. Raving, raving, something like that. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. <laughs> Gold, can you go in our place? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Gold. Go on, pick one. Alright, the choice of the ages. Our starter Pokemon choices. Chikorita. So you like Chikorita, the grass Pokemon. No. Think it over carefully. Your partner is important. If you pick Chikorita, I feel sorry for you. We have Totodile. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No. Think it over carefully. Totodile, the water one. Uh, most people pick Totodile. Um, so, Totodile is pretty popular because... I don't actually know. I just know that it's popular. Last option, Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. So... We have these three choices. Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. Which one will I choose? Why I choose to leave. Wait, where are you going? Uh, yeah, I like to do that all the time. <laughs> the rapper the s from the Snack Professor Elm 8 is in there. <gasps> Good of you to notice, Gold. Good of you to notice. Anyway, my choice of starter is going to be Cyndaquil. This is actually my favorite Johto starter, unlike a lot of other people. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Gold receives Cyndaquil. Shadow, get down. My cat is not... Shadow, get down. My cat... My cat keeps climbing on my desk, especially when I'm recording. Jeez. All right. Gold receive Cyndaquil. All right. Nickname time. Male Cyndaquil. I... I don't know. Um... Hmm. All right. We're gonna go with... <laughs> uh... Yeah, let's go with... Alright. I think I'm just gonna go with Valco. Because Volcano, but shortened, I guess. And it it has a signature move later in the game. It might just be Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, actually. I don't know. But Valco! <laughs> uh, Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove in the next city over. It's almost a direct route. There's so there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Gold guts out. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal with it in this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. Gold, I'm counting on you. All right, we leave. Gold, I want you to have this for your errand. Gold, receive the potion. All right, the potion. This is, uh, I can't actually remember now. How many potions does he give you? Like one? Yeah, that's the potion you get from the PC, basically. One potion from the professor's assistant. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I'm using an Xbox controller that I got for my PC because this is a PC emulator. And holy crap, it's hard to hit the direction you want to hit on the D-pad. Um, anyway. Anyway. Wild Pokemon Battle Rattata! Um, I am going to suggest something to you. I suggest you tack, you, uh, fight wild Pokemon uh for for a while because i suggest 
that you get your starter to like about level six, maybe level seven. I suggest level seven, maybe level eight at the highest. Um, but, but, and you'll see why later, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and keep battling. Uh, hoot hoot. Is it really that dark outside? It's not that dark. Alright, whatever. Um, okay, so. Wild Pokemon. Yay. Just keep battling. We're all... All I'm doing right now is battling. I, I don't want to cut out any wild battles for the time being, just because... Just because I'm kind of just here, here, and there's not much else to do. Um, so, um, anyway. While we're going, uh, to Cherry Grove, well, actually we're almost there, but, um, right here, it's a fruit-bearing tree. Hey, it's a berry! Uh, berries you can equip to your Pokemon and they will automatically heal. Anyway. Ah! I... I was holding... Oh my gosh. I am holding... What the heck? I was holding left! Okay, then. Oh my... No, I'm holding left. Anyway, we're in Cherry Grove City. Um... What I'd like to do now... Is this old man in Heart Gold Soul Silver is required. You do have to talk to him in... In this game, uh, he is skippable, um, and, and, um, even though he's skippable, I am going to do this anyway, because there's some funny, there's some funny stuff here. You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Uh, yes. Okay then, follow me. This this is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. It is, uh, you'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Uh, they are free, thankfully. Free healthcare. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. That's where you get potions and healing items. Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. This is one of my favorites. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I love that line. Some Pokemon are found only in water. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> anyway, right here, here. It's my house, thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. He gives you the map card for your Pokegear. The, yeah, I, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center and I am going to heal. Good evening, you're out late. No, I'm not. It's only like seven o'clock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Yes. And no, don't walk back in. No, don't walk back in. Oh my gosh. Xbox controls, Xbox D-pad. Jeez, okay. So, Route 30. Uh, over here we got another berry tree. We got plenty of berry. Um, we're gonna keep going. There is an item here, I believe. Yep, antidote. Antidote will heal poison. Uh, poison is a status that you can get from poison type moves. Uh, for instance, and um, I I don't know how to explain statuses without getting one. So uh, we'll go over different statuses as we get to them. Ha! You failed. You failed at making noise. A critical hit. That's just, that's uh, double damage, I believe. A critical hit. Oh, well. 
Wow. What a productive turn. Anyway, uh, critical hits do about double damage regardless of stat change. So basically, it would act as if my stats weren't lowered if they had been. Um, and it would do that. Growl lowers attack. Um, physical attack. You have different stats. Uh, you have, if I can... Stats. You have... We have... Uh, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Attack is physical... Uh, physical moves that are in gens 1, 2, and 3, uh, you have, whoops, wait, what? I'm pressing B, I'm pressing B, okay. In gens 1 and 2, who, gens 1, 2, and 3, uh, physical and special moves were based on type, not on, not on, uh, what they are, um, Right there, we just learned smoke screen. Uh, that lowers that lowers the um, accuracy, which is not a which is not a stat listed here because it's dependent on the move, not the not the stat. Um, but yeah, level. So attack will is uh, attack is physical. So like normal type moves, I believe they're. I'm trying to remember all the physical. I think normal and flying are two examples. Um, I'll put on screen all the examples if I can fit it on screen. Uh, and special and defense is how much is how much how defensive you are to those physical attacks. Uh, special attack is special moves like fire, and I believe water is a special. Uh, type and then special defense is the same uh, speed is just just tells you how fast you go uh, who goes first if it's tied it does a dice roll anyway as we go keep going we're gonna battle some more wild Pokemon um, a polywag I didn't know you could find polywag here Huh, you learn something new every day. Anyway. Uh Bubble. Oh. Alright, water is super effective against fire. You might know this if you're a Pokemon pun player, but um yeah. Super effective moves means it does, I believe, double damage. Unless you are four times weak to it. Right there. Your starter comes with a berry. Um, so it automatically heals. Anyway, but yeah, um, super effective is two times if you are, or if I was like a fire and ground or rock type, it'd be four times. Uh, resistant is half damage or a quarter if you're double resistant. And yeah. So, so, um, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, we have another wild Pokemon. Uh, another Poliwag! Hooray! Alright, Valco, get out there. We got Valco using Tackle. Poliwag is probably going to use Bubble. Yup. So, in, in the original Gen 1 and 2, I believe... Uh, a, the AI usually goes for super effective moves, hooves as their priority. Um, I am almost dead. Um, their priority is to use super effective moves. Um, if they don't have super effective moves, uh, they go for, they go, they typically go for something like... They typically go for regular effective, and if they don't have regular effective, then it's, uh, then it's, um, the resistant. Uh, however, if a Pokemon does not have a, uh, resisted move, so, for example, or if a Pokemon has a super effective move, like that is a status move like i don't know agility is a psychic type move so if i were to use a poison type on a psychic type 
or if I were to use agility on a poison, the AI would typically choose agility because the type is super effective. Oh my gosh. Anyway, hello, hello, you must be gold. Professor Elm Knight said that you would visit. This is what Professor Elm, I want Professor Elm to, to examine. Oh my gosh. Gold is, gold got the mystery, mystery egg. The mystery egg in the key pocket. I know a couple, I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm would will know it. Hello. Aha, so you're gold. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you th who th that Pokemon. A Pokemon, not that Pokemon, a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm you and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. You cannot say no to this in this game, unfortunately. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Gold, I'm counting on you. Okay. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Da, 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 da. I'm depending on you. All right, and with that, this that's the end for, of this episode. Uh, we got we got pretty far. Um, so yeah, so I think this is a good place to end it off. So in this poke uh, in this Pokemon in this episode of Pokemon Crystal, we we went. We got our first Pokemon, we started the game, and we came to Mr. Pokemon's house to get an egg. You will give me an egg. Anyway, uh, in the next episode, we will return to Professor Elm to give him the egg. See you guys then. This is Chuck Controller, signing out. Bye!